Welcome to Countdown to Infinity, a Marvel's Avengers podcast. We talk all things Marvel's cinematic universe, and that includes the Disney Plus show Loki, Mm -hmm. which is in its second season. We've been going episode by episode. We are halfway through this season already. Yep. This week, we'll be talking about episode nine. What? uh, Episode three of season two. (laughs) Episode nine overall. Yes. And if you're not yet confused with all the numbers, Mm -hmm. this episode is titled 1893. 1893. So do that math and see if it maths for you. And here's another confusing thing. Tell me, please. Even though the title is 1893, it opens with Miss Minutes and Renslayer traveling to Chicago in 1868. (laughs) (laughs) All those dates and more on this episode. (laughs) My name is Manuel. My name is Sophia. And I know it's a little confusing. Yeah. But it all makes sense later. It does. Here's what happens in this episode. Miss Minutes and Renslayer, we finally see them. Yes. They're in Chicago. We track them down. Do you like Chicago? It's a good city. Loved Chicago. We've been. We've been. I grew up there. You did grow up there. On the streets of Chicago. Sure. Eating my hat, my, my hat dogs. That's how you say it. My coffee. Yeah, there we go. What? We got that accent. So then how would you say hot dogs? Hot dags. Hot, no. That's New York. Can I get a dag, please? I ah, man. What is that? Chicago. No. Ah, jeez. What are you doing to me? Oh, that's That sounds more... Anyways, Miss Minutes and <laughs> Renslayer travel to Chicago 1868. Yes. Because Miss Minutes says they have to leave a certain package... For a certain someone. For a someone. certain someone, a young Victor Timely. Yes. The TVA guidebook. Mm-hmm. Flash forward to 1893. Yes. Now Wait. that makes sense. Yep, there's a hit of that time pad yes. of the TVA. Mm-hmm. So Loki and uh, Morbius travel to that time period. They go to the Chicago's World's Fair. Yes, also in, in Chicago. In, also in Chicago. In search of something, they see that uh, someone named uh, Victor Timely, Timely has a prototype that he's showcasing. Mm-hmm. They find out it's a temporal loom. Yes. A prototype for that. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it seems like uh, this Timely is kind of a... A con artist of sorts. Yeah. A lot of his inventions are fake. Doesn't matter because they all want him to go back to the TVA. mm -hmm. Renslayer and Miss Minutes spend some time with him. Although Mm -hmm. he has a thing about partnerships. He doesn't like any partnerships. No. So uh, Miss Minutes convinces him to basically drop Renslayer off in a rowboat. Yep. The middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Uh, He takes Miss Minutes to his secret lair. I'll call it a secret lair, even though it's (laughs) not really much of a of a, of a lair or a bunch of a secret because <laughs> everyone finds it very quickly. Yes. Miss Minutes professes her love for him. Yeah. Asks basically for a body and, uh, you know, she basically tries to get at him but Loki and Morbius blow it up. He sees red flags too and he's like, mm, no thanks. Absolutely. Renslayer arrives as well and mm-hmm. they're all saved by Sylvie. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone really finds the secret lair pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. It's in Wisconsin too. I don't know. Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. On the lake. Off yeah. of the lake. Green Bay Packer fans. What else do you know about a lot Wisconsin? Of, a, lot of, a lot of accents coming from me today. Butta. Okay. <laughs> Um, and, uh, it ends with, uh, it ends, it, it, end, no. <laughs> it ends with Victor timely traveling to the TVA, albeit, decides to go, uh, deciding to go to the TVA with yep. Loki and Morbius. Mm-hmm. Sylvie says, I'll take care of Renslayer and Miss Minutes, mm-hmm. banishing them to the end of time. Yes. Where the carcass of he who remains sits on the throne still, but of course, still hanging dead. out. Miss yeah. Minutes does say though. Oh, actually, I have it pulled up. Here's the stinger for the episode. Miss Minute says, It was foolish for Kang mm-hmm. to make an enemy of someone who knows all his secrets. I know a well, big I know I know a really big one about you, I can tell you. But it's, but gonna, it's gonna make, make you, you real, real angry. angry. You gotta <gasps> say it with the country twang, Mr. King of accents. Oh, yeah. Country What's twang Ms. like Minutes? Like Miss Minutes. It's gonna Minutes. make you real angry. It's gonna make you real angry. It's gonna make you real angry, hun. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> what do you think of this episode 1893 and all um, of the goodness? I was so looking forward to Sylvie just cutting it through. When we were watching, I'm kind of I'm kind of cutting to the end of the ep. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I was waiting so hard. You have her accent now. To, I know. You said I, I, was gotta, waiting. I gotta get rid of it. I was waiting. I was waiting so hard. There you go. Proper. Um, a proper to- lady. <laughs> For Sylvie to just post up, and everybody was trying to talk to to her, and I was like, "Why? Why are we wasting so much time mm-hmm. talking to Renslayer? Why is everyone just listening to what she has to say? 
I don't understand. It's like fight on I'm sorry, I just sight. have to I, ke- I kept saying Morbius. Morbius is the vampire. Yeah, so I didn't want to say. It's I didn't, I'm so I didn't, didn't want to say anything because yeah. you were just in your element. I'm not talking about Jared Leto. You were making all kinds of jokes. So I was like, uh, I'm just going to let it slide. Mobius, Mobius, Mobius. Also, I figured somebody in the comments would <laughs> Oh, they would, <laughs> would they come for you anyway. Know. It's Mobius. I was sorry. Like, eh, Morbius. I can't believe fine. I said that. Okay. It's okay. You know what? We've done it a couple times too. So just, um, and you know what? Okay, I'm gonna, cool. I'm going to apologize for us in the future because yeah, yeah. it's probably going to happen again. So sorry. Good apology. We're professionals. Mm-hmm. Anyways, but I was like, okay, it's fight on sight when when we see Renslayer, like, period. And then everyone's just listening to her, like, for what? And I, I just didn't, I didn't understand. Like, Loki, Loki, you could have pulled out your powers, like, first sentence. You know what I'm saying? Like, when, in those fight scenes that we got from episode two, I'm like, yeah. where is that Loki at? Where, hello? Like, you, you, what? I don't understand why we were waiting so long. Mobius was just trying to talk to her and be like, "No, yeah. remember when we used to remember for old times' sake." It's like, why? Why are we? Why are we trying to negotiate with this person right now? Yeah. Like after everything, hello, and then he's like, "You're a fugitive," you know? Like you got look at look at where it's gotten you, and it's like, who cares? Yeah. Like we all know what she's trying to do. It's kind of. It is weird. It is weird. Uh, like we don't got to hear her out for anything. You came there for Miss Minutes. Period. And then also you got Victor, period. Like, that's it. Wrap him up. Let's yeah. go. And then Sylvie pops in. She's like, boom. Didn't even yeah. say a word. And it was it, it was exactly what I wanted. And it, then when she was like, I got her. I was yeah. like, yeah, you do. It is funny yeah, because nobody kills anyone. No. <laughs> so I just wanted to see a Sylvie Ranslayer fight. And yeah. then whatever. It is, what, does... it, is, it is what it is. And Sylvie says it herself. She's like, I have thought of yeah. this moment. Yeah. For so many, like it has ended so many ways for and blah blah mm. blah, and I'm like, okay, like yes, but that, it's a that's... little bit of a like a horror ending of like, <sighs> oh or, or you know what happens a lot in superhero stuff when they're like, I could kill you, but instead I'm gonna take I'm gonna the high keep road, keep you alive, like, and put why? you somewhere you can why? probably escape. But yes, like who is who is yeah. that gonna help? Like this she... is kind of our first time with Renslayer, huh? Yeah, first we have we haven't seen her in season two yet. Mm-hmm. But I mean, we said that this was going to get a move on quite quickly because yeah. there's only three eps left. So yeah, what do you think about? So uh, you know, tell me, Ren Slayer. We're talking about first episode oh. back, but mm-hmm. also Miss Minutes. First so episode happy back. to see Miss Minutes. Miss Minutes is a ghost, yes, <laughs> or has lived you know decades mm-hmm. as kind of void of a body, of mm-hmm. course, but mm-hmm. as this scary ghost that's scaring everyone in Chicago. Yeah. Not only do we see her doing that thing, yeah. but also, <laughs> and, you know, we see her become a giant version of this too to escape mm-hmm. later. Mm-hmm. But um, we also s- kind of, she she's an AI, okay? Yeah. And <laughs> okay. incredibly dangerous to have out there. Oh, for There's, sure. She's very menacing when she- Way, way back in the day? Yeah. It would have freaked people out. But we get Miss Minutes professing her love to Victor- Timely. Yes. In such a, I would say, menacing way. Yes. Putting her face on a mannequin. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the episode, seemingly turning on Kang Mm -hmm. and being like, look, I'm about to blow your mind. I mean, also not Kang. Victor, Victor Timely. Victor Timely. I don't know. He Who Remains. Because she's in love with a version of She's in love with He Who Remains. Yeah. And then Victor is what she gets. But it's the same person physically. yeah, Yeah. Right, like he. I mean, not the same person, but like he looks just like him, Mm. and he kind of talks like him, and she knows who he can totally be. Yeah. Right, because she's seen a variant of him, and so it's like okay, it's hard not, it's hard to detach, and especially when years, right, potentially have gone by. Yeah. Without seeing him, and it's the person that created you. Like that's a whole other. Like you spend so much time with someone eons and eons because of the tva with her and he who remains so like it's it's hard not to have rekindled feelings when you physically see someone like that and then i mean for me i understand where miss minutes is coming from because it's just like hey this opportunity is here i'm gonna you gotta shoot your shot yeah, when, but it's when it she's comes, not but real. The way I know, and you know what, she d- wants to be so bad, but she tells him, like, "Look, you gave me this gift of becoming who I am. It's not just an AI servant like Jarvis or like whoever, but she's like, you gave yeah. me thoughts and you gave me a it's personality. A, a real, you gave me the ability to create my own personality and who I am. It's a real sci-fi love story. It's like yeah. her. It's like Ex Machina." 
who do you love? You know, you okay. were talking about Blade Runner 2049. Okay. Kind of like, wow, maybe I should be talking to Siri a little bit more, okay. you know? Kind of no. be really, you know, maybe be a little flirty. Yeah, I didn't realize we were watching the movie Her. Yeah, we should be like, listen, <laughs> Siri, you sexy <laughs> AI. I yeah. just probably turned it on on a lot of people's <laughs> phones, too. You don't need to say hey anymore. Did you know that? Yeah, you just got to say Siri. It's kind of crazy. Um, But, but yeah, she, I, I get where she's coming from, though. And of course, like, she's also annoyed slash jealous because she's she's able to feel jealousy oh yeah with Renslayer um, yeah, with yeah, fucking yeah. Renslayer uh, that, uh, so, you know when we're saying a lot of things happen in this episode Renslayer kind of max a little bit out Victor's timely oh they for kind of have sure. a connection not a surprise if you read the comic books but at the same episode, there's already this jealousy thing with Miss Minutes, and then they're both basically dumb. Well, because when when the t- when they're both rejected, because Renslayer is off in a boat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that was real dirty. She was just asleep, and he was like, "Now's a good time." Yeah, and just dumps her, her. Literally dumps her in the lake. Yeah. Um, and then you get Miss Minutes. Poor Miss Minutes. He just freaked out and was like, "Whoa, whoa, you're moving way too quick." And then she gets trapped inside of her little little compartment thing, and it's like, "Well, okay, what well, you got it?" Both of them are like, "All right, well, we tried and yeah. it didn't work, so now well, is like the real plan." I think the really crazy thing is Miss Minutes, who helped, uh, you know, like we said before, has mm-hmm. been in the TVA forever and ever. Really, yeah. is really smart. Maybe the smartest AI alive. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. You yeah, left her you know a lot that's crazy mm-hmm. and, totally and upset with yeah. you do you have any i mean the biggest question mark i think uh, from this episode specifically there's a lot of question marks the mm-hmm. loom mm-hmm. you know timely of course who's mm-hmm. now the tva but what do you think is this big secret people are speculating what the secret is that miss minutes is going to tell renslayer about there are theories that maybe she got mind wiped Ravana Ravonna renslayer we got that little bit of an audio tape from the yeah. very first episode yeah for maybe sure she ran the tva but doesn't remember that she was supposed mm-hmm. to be in charge she mm-hmm. could be a king mm-hmm. uh maybe variant or maybe she was in love with king but that stuff got wiped do you have any predictions on what that big secret is that I mean, she isn't gonna like if we're thinking back towards the comics like w- there was a love connection no yeah like so yeah, I mean it's very much possible yeah, that yeah. her mind was wiped, mm-hmm. um, and I mean that's maybe why she has this subconscious like love yeah. and dedication to the TVA because like can I mean do we really know if she can remember anything from before? No, right? Because, no. I mean she knows about Mobius. Yeah, she knows about Mobius, but and like even Mobius doesn't know about Mobius. That's what I'm saying. Like if if she is there a limit to what she knows, and she's like scared of that limit, so she's like just deep into the TVA, or yeah. Um, yeah, I think she worked alongside He Who Remains because there is that audio. But I mean, the thing is, you don't know what variant did that. So Yeah, and that that's going to be really difficult because Victor Timely seems to... Let's talk about Victor Timely. Okay. We talked about Ravana. We yeah. talked about Miss Minutes, mm-hmm. who are, you know, really big parts of the show. Mm-hmm. But freaking Kang is in this episode. Victor Timely <laughs> yeah. is in it. Yeah. It's... Um, Jonathan Majors yes. doing a whole new take of this character talks a little weird. I think he, I think he honest, has a stutter. Let's be honest. He's kind, he's kinda doing a Mark Zuckerberg. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of weird. Oh, okay. I'm not even joking. Like it's it's look. Sure. I don't look. I don't know what is up with these <laughs> actors who are like, look, I want to be a really brilliant inventor billionaire. Let me do a whole like socially awkward thing where I can't talk well. You know, okay. a lot of really smart people aren't I mean, that. Keep in mind, awkward. he has to be a, a thousand characters. I know, I know, I know, <laughs> and they have to be really distinct too. Yes. Like it can't be that nuanced. Yeah. It's got to be. Oh, I'm the nerd from the yeah. 1800s. Like it, it, yeah, it's got to be whatever. Pretty. I mean, th- what do you think about Victor Timely, the con artist, the scientist, the fan of the TVA because of the manual? I guess he can't wait to meet Ob. But what what do you think about him? I think he's gonna con his way through the TVA. Yeah, like I think they're gonna bring him to answer a bunch of questions mm-hmm. um, about the loom and everything, and I think he's not gonna be able to do any of it. Yeah, I think he is playing just just like he's been living his life. Like, yeah, he has a version of the loom, like in his little mm-hmm. presentation or whatever. But if you think about it, the only reason that he created that was because the manual was dropped in his lap mm-hmm. from Ravana way back when and all of that was written by OB so if he read that and got his own ideas like yeah. as to what it's supposed to look like what it's supposed to sound like work like what have you what have you what have you like all of that was not his original ideas like those yeah that was from OB that's a, that's an interesting thing because if Ravana ends up you know kind of being in charge of the TVA but mm-hmm. she got conned mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And OB was the one that created the loom, but he got conned as well. Remember, he's like stuck in that department, never leaving. Mm-hmm. It'd be wild because then Kang, or he who remains, or Victor Timely, mm-hmm. basically just was able to co-opt and take mm-hmm. control of everything. And I don't and, know, like, and, and, and maybe create Miss Minutes or maybe do all this weird stuff mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. is very different for other villains who are motivated by, yep. you know, other things instead of just kind of trying to take power. Uh-huh. And if we think about it, he who remains is the one that came up with the idea to give Victor Timely the, the manual. manual. It's Whoa, not, it's buddy. not, it's not Victor Timely's idea. Yeah, in the no, future. not at all. Yeah. It's he who remains. So he who remains knew that Victor Timely was going to end mm. up at the TVA because of all this yeah. mess. And you're about to give him access to yes. the mm-hmm, loom. Mm-hmm, and exactly. you're about, yeah, I think that's. So he's supposed to be at the TVA. Yeah. I mean, he's going to con his yeah. way through it for sure because mm-hmm. that's what he does. And, but he who remains already thought about that. Yeah. And which is why he wanted to die at the end of the first season. Exactly. He was like, yeah, kill me because I he need you like, to kill me. Mm-hmm. I need you to blow this up and yep. let the thing loose because yep. you need to go. Yeah. Yep. Oh, man. And crazy. also, Miss Minutes could very well know multiple plans that he who remains told her. Yeah. This is just Victor's. Yeah. Does that make sense? And speaking of that, there's also, I'm going to go really quickly go into some uh, Easter eggs. There's an Easter egg here. Speaking of yes. uh, variant Kangs, Rama Tut, his name yes. appears mm-hmm. in the World's Fair. We mm-hmm. saw him IRL in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, the Council of Kangs. It's basically uh, a version of Kang that took the after credit. over- yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, took over Egypt. Yep. Uh, another thing, Ferdinand Lang, who is a, a supposedly Scott Lang's ancestor, is also mm-hmm. there. Very, very smart. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we talk about Balder. There's a whole scene about Balder, who is the... <laughs> the other brother. The other brother, and I think in Norse mythology is the actual brother to Thor, and mm-hmm. not so much the mm-hmm. Loki side. Yeah. So it's funny that they talk about Balder, who is supposed to be the... The Loki in, in the myth or whatever. Oh, and Loki's Those so are just cute some about it. <laughs> real small, short Easter eggs, even mm-hmm. though there probably are a lot more because the World's Fair has a ton going on. Oh, yeah. As, you know, most You can just fairs. pause it in that opening scene whenever they show the World's Fair and you could just yeah. zoom in a little bit and see a bunch. See a whole lot, uh-huh. yeah. Um, what do you think about, uh, you know, we you, we you already talked about Sylvie, wanting mm-hmm. her to come back. It seems yes. like she has a turn of heart here because uh, she does allow... Because she wants, everyone wants to kill Victor Timely. Mm-hmm. I think for a little bit, for a little moment, Loki also does too. He's like, uh, we got to get rid of this guy. He's dangerous. But Sylvie for sure is like, I don't care. I will go off. Sylvie- but she lets him go at the end, which is, I guess, like a turn of heart. But mm-hmm. also, mm-hmm. especially if your theory is correct, a huge mistake. Yes. Um, because of the way that Loki framed it for her. Like her whole idea was like, no, we need to do whatever it takes to keep everyone's freedom. Right? Yeah. Well, there is no freedom to protect without homeboy, supposedly Victor, who can fix the loom. Yeah. Right? Because then everybody is going to fucking explode and it's just going to end everything. Right? Because if it gets out of hand, then there's no controlling it and it's just going to, we're not, it's going to be completely unstable and just like, so putting that into perspective for Sylvie was like, okay, fine. You got a point. Let him, let's go fix that first. And then we'll come up with a way to allow everyone to have their free the freedom without killing anybody and yeah. without like getting rid of timelines. Right. We, I mean, we still don't know what that looks like without Victor and without Miss Minutes and without OB trying to stabilize everything. However, I don't think, again, I don't think Victor's going to be able to. If he does, I'm completely wrong and I'll admit it when we talk about that ep. Yeah. But I don't, based on his actions in this episode, Yeah. he seems too sketchy for me. He doesn't like partnerships, which means yeah. he doesn't like working with people. Yeah. Um, which would I make think, sense. That sounds like something, I mean, he, we mm-hmm, already saw him do it to... Mm-hmm everyone we literally Ravana and literally miss minutes he canceled yeah. both of them out in in the same episode i'm so i don't think that he's gonna like working yeah. for someone at the tva yeah. or working or with, with someone. someone yeah especially if it's ob um, man if I he think gets I, rid of ob i'm gonna be pissed. i was gonna say because we love ob so much do you remember yeah. when i said that he would sacrifice himself to save everything yeah marvel just just hire me already no, I'm just I think that there's um, also this idea. We look. We've seen Kang the Conqueror. We've mm-hmm. seen He Who Remains. We mm-hmm. have seen all these versions in the after credit scene, and we're mm-hmm. with Victor Timely now. Mm-hmm. He's supposed to be such a you know dangerous villain because he has variants in every timeline, literally everywhere. Yes, and and to like a dangerous degree mm-hmm. that there's you know I mean it's so it'd be if they do establish that. Mm-hmm. You can't trust also, him. Also, who's to say that one of these variants hasn't gotten to Victor already? It's true. 
Like we we only see him here, yeah, yeah. but it jumps from his childhood like to a, this. A primary variant almost. Mm-hmm, like one mm-hmm. that they go and they implant and they make mm-hmm. sure rules the timeline in mm-hmm. every single timeline. That's the whole yeah. job of the Council of Kings. Yeah. Is to run it all. Yeah. So yeah, it'd be mm-hmm. kind of So Yeah. It's I'm a just, mess. I'm just saying there's a lot that could happen. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to, mm-hmm. but there's a lot that could. We worry for Obi, I yeah. guess is uh, yes. what this ends up being. Um, any other big things? I mean, we talked Ravana, we talked Miss Minutes, we talked Victor Timely. Mobius is, you know, very much the one who is, uh, the most optimistic, I would say. <laughs> like, he, Loki is skeptical, that's on, but... That's on, that's on character with him, though. Yeah, Mobius is a nice guy. Everybody loves Mobius. Where, where do you think we go from here? There's, it seems like they're going to be able to access the loom and, you know do the work that Obi needs with Victor Timely's aura. They obviously don't have Miss Minutes so or Ravana, so it's going to have to go through Victor uh, Timely. But what do you think? Um, any, 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 I guess, predictions about what's going to happen on the next episode? Dear. Okay, so Homeboy's already going to be at the TVA. Victor's already going to be there. Um, I think that it's going to be him meeting Obi, for sure. Him being shown... Or being shown, is that the right way to say that? Him, be, him walking around TVA saying like, oh my gosh, oh, like this is amazing. No, no, no. Um, but I also think that he's going to try to show Obi some of his ideas and try to see if that could work. I think it's going to be trial and error between the two. Um, I want to say that Obi is smarter than Victor. Mm. And that Obi is like, well, no, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Like, no, that's not going to work. Or, oh, maybe that'll try. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Let's try that. Um, but because he's a con artist and because OB is so literal and so, like, analytical and, like, matter of fact, I think he's going to try. He's going to be able to see right through him. Um, I hope so. And I think that realistically, the person that they need is still Miss Minutes. Yeah. So they're going to have to ask Sylvie, like, what did you do? And then she's going to be like, oh, I put them at the end of time. Yeah. And so they're all going to go to the end of time again. But Miss Minutes and Ravana would have been pissed off already working on their plan. <laughs> for, yeah. And the secret would have already been told. Um, and then Ravana is either going to get influenced or like motivated by the power that she used to have from before her mind was wiped. Yeah. Um, and that's going to kickstart her plan with Miss Minutes. Um, it's probably one of the ones that he who remains had all along, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, and then whenever Sylvie, Mobius and Loki, maybe OB, it depends what happens with OB and, and Victor. Um, when they all go to try to find Miss Minutes at the end of time with Ravana, it's just going to be ugly. I think that, that, that Ravana and Miss Minutes are definitely going to team up against Victor Timely. Mm-hmm. Feels that way. Mm-hmm. I mean, they were spurned here in, mm-hmm. in one episode. They turned mm-hmm. on him. But mm-hmm. again, they spent 30 years in Chicago at yeah. the time or whatever. Yeah. But I wonder if it is going to be Mobius and Loki who kind of try to save Timely without knowing what they're doing. And, you know, they're letting a fox into the hen house. I mean, they don't know what they're doing now. Yeah. But, man, Sylvie, Ravana, Miss Minutes. What a team up. And I, I, I guess we've already talked a little bit about Miss Minutes, but she also reveals that she spent billions of years mm-hmm. with He Who Remains or a version of Kang. Mm-hmm. That she writes her own programming. She's That's f- what I said. But, but like, what do you, th- why do you think he never gave her a body? Because that's what the, her whole thing. She's like, you never gave me a body. What mm-hmm. What do you think that's about? I mean, apart um, from just being kind of mean to, to her. Yeah, I think that's just a power dynamic thing. Mm. Like, if you give her everything she wants, then she would want nothing. Yeah. You know? And then, like, what is she working towards? Yeah. I think that'll... So, do you think that'll be a big deal later? Like, do you think she'll get a body or... Or whatever, Ooh, or being I can't see her in a body. Yeah, you don't think so? <laughs> like when she was on that mannequin, I was like, yeah. "Whoa!" <laughs> like, kind of weird to look it at. It was right? yeah. so weird. Yeah, I don't even know how um, that would work. To be honest, no. With you. But like, what would she look like? Her, I don't vo- know. her voice actor, <laughs> Tara like, Strong. Is yeah. she, she going to be up in here? <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't think. Yeah. I don't think. That do you think it's possible? Miss Minutes and Ravana are the same. No. No. Okay. Cool. No. What? You can't how, ever. You can't ever tell with this show. I guess maybe before her mind was wiped, it yeah. could it could be or like a bird or Ravana is the I don't know or her AI programming is based off of who Ravana yeah. was before her mind was wiped. I think so. That's, it's I think possible. that's a, I think that's a reach because if you're saying like you know I've been with you billions of years, Ravana is kind of the one who's who's done that. <gasps> Unless but. Kang, that was a version of Kang that was in love with Ravana, and then 
he wiped her mind because mm. he knew that it couldn't work, but because he still loved her, he created Miss the Minutes. The AI, because he her. needed her, he needed all the TVA knowledge eh, and no, stuff. I don't know. I mean, that would be beautiful, yeah. but no. <laughs> um, also, like, we're, we're you know, we're, we're the reason why Timely knows so much about the TVA and the mm-hmm. time and the lumens making all these fake experiments is because of OB's manual, but... Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Don't you think we're going to be able to buy that manual at some point on Disney.com? Hey, or yeah, Disney, can you hop on that, please? Let's I'd love read it. to see. I'd love to hear what the writers have to mm-hmm. well, write the for, fake first, manual. First of all, get that'd your, be cool. Get your writers, but yeah, 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 pay your writers. Pay they your already writers, are, but pay your actors too. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'd love to see that. Well, there's a lot of speculation. <gasps> we should pause it and like read it during. Mm. I'm sure that there's like screen. Grabs, oh, I see. But... I see. No, okay, I'm on the TV. Yeah. I was like, oh, I don't know if I have time to pause Victor... it and read a whole book, but uh, <laughs> yeah. sure, yeah. Because Victor shows like his notes in it and stuff. But, yeah. You know, I'd love to see it. Um. Any Any other things you want to talk about from this episode or predictions for the next one? Um. No. Just more. More of the Loki. I. I. Uh, I loved Loki's using use of his powers here, but yeah. I'm gonna. I mean, no. Again, episode two so far has been the most like Loki from season one type yeah. attitude Loki, you know, that I'd love to see more of. Um, yeah. Well, that's a that's a part of that Balder thing where where mm-hmm. Mobius says, oh, I keep forgetting you're a freaking, you know, you're a god. You're here. <laughs> yeah. you're, you know, you, there's a version of yeah. you that's like mm-hmm. here as mm-hmm. a statue. Mm-hmm. And I keep forgetting you're a god. And he's like, mm-hmm. yeah, well, yeah. That's the um, I, he's like, but he's also I just sure a nice, am. a nice guy. I know. I, 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 I really do and he's worry. Pretty. <laughs> I worry for the for the characters we like, of course. But OB. that, but that yeah. just makes sense. Ob mm-hmm. and Mobius, like I worry about that and the TVA and stuff. Yeah. I um, I wonder what this season will ultimately be about. You know, like mm-hmm. last season, of course, was about releasing and freeing the timelines, and that being kind of a bad thing. And I wonder if we're going to dis- make a decision about whether uh, we need to start pruning some, you know, because mm-hmm. right now it seems like it's, they're just trying to save as many timelines as possible. Yeah. There's not a lot of pruning going on not when a lot it of comes pruning. to timeline. Yep. Timeline. Obviously like some did get pruned, kinda... but it was bad. Like it was, mm-hmm. a bu- it was those bombs sad. and it was sad, but um, I don't know. But I don't know. I don't know if there's a way to balance everything. I hope again that OB is able to survive through all of this ridiculousness and kind of fix everything. Um, with or without Victor, however however it works. Yeah. But I don't know. It's looking pretty rough. You know? Like it seems yeah. it seems like it's impossible and I feel like Ravana is just gonna be like, nah, mm-hmm. <laughs> we're gonna go back to how it was before. Look, I don't wanna get too into the weeds of writing T V series or anything like that. Tell me. Normally the fourth or fifth episode, which we're going into now, yes. is the low point. It, it's, it's gonna be where stuff gets blown up and is the worst, and then yep. the last one they come back. Yep. So especially we're not with, even there. Especially yet. with Disney with these especially series. Especially with Disney. It's so, usually up five. Keep an eye on Victor Timely. I know he's weird and quirky, but you can't trust him, and obviously mm-hmm. he's a Kang, so mm-hmm. you definitely can't so trust him. So that's a big him. red flag. That's a big red flag. <laughs> In itself. Um, there's all those threads from episode one as well. You know, mm-hmm. um, Sylvie mm-hmm. comes back. Somebody knocks out Loki or helps Loki get back. So there's all this weird stuff to keep track of. But I think oh, we yeah. will. I am. In, I'm <laughs> interested to see what other time periods we'll be in. We've mm-hmm. been in the 1800s. This was so fun. The intro was so fun. Oh yeah, with the piano, the piano and then Miss Minutes looked cool because Miss she was like back. vintage, yeah, ish. That was cool. Yeah, it's costumes it's, are cool. I hope we get to another distinct era like that. Mobius That'd be really fun to see. Nice. But also, I don't mind seeing more of the TVA. So far, the TV. I mean, let's see Y two K. When we look <laughs> out, kidding. I know. Yeah. <laughs> when, well, when we look out the window of the TVA, we see like basically a sci-fi world mm-hmm. that we don't spend much time in. No, there's it'd, buildings, it'd be too there's expensive. cars. I guess so. But that's, a lot, that's a lot of graphics. I'm cool we spend time out there too. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, we saw all those Kang statues at one point. Yeah, massive ones. So there's people we gotta, there. We got to go there at one point. There's people worshiping him. Mm-hmm. There's people. He's literally everywhere underneath all of the building. Yeah. In the TVA, current TVA. Yeah. So. Do you feel like you like Ravana, or do you think you're just kind of? You, do you think he's a? She's an agent that's misguided that could have yeah. a tragic backstory, or do you think? Well, she's I don't know. evil. I mean, she's choo- she's she's making her bed right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's clearly choosing a side right now to be with Miss Minutes and to be with Kang. Mm-hmm. Um, and she did work for the big three back in the day, blindly. 
mm. like, without even asking questions. That's my thing. It felt like she was committed to mm-hmm. the, the TVA, TVA and its mission, mm-hmm. kind of like that general from from mm-hmm. early on. Mm-hmm. But um, but again, I don't know what that's motivated yeah. by. I don't know if it's motivated by her lack of remembering who she was and like this has always been yeah. everything because of her mind being wiped, or that she actually knows way more than we think that she does. Um, because she worked with a previous king. Yeah. We get, we get a lot of references the multiversal war too. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. which is, I think, something that hasn't happened yet. Yeah. Which is crazy. They're talking about it like it's mm-hmm. the past. Well, let us know what you're excited about. This episode is slam packed. <laughs> slam packed? What? Slam? Jam packed? It's jam packed <laughs> with a lot of time stuff. Not yeah. only Victor Timely, but of course, all of the other characters who are trying to uncover Mm -hmm. i guess ways to save the temporal loom or the time loom sometimes i feel like i'm making sense when i'm talking out loud but then i think do do i do i make sense (laughs) because there's so much time involved in this like i'm back in time in time present and then in the future and then kings and then like there's so much to keep track of what's cool though is mobius will explain it to you (laughs) someone will explain it to you and it's probably mobius or ob or you know someone is there yeah kind of disorienting (laughs) but not really Mm -hmm. um but yeah this is a the fun episode a lot of miss minutes a lot of uh a lot of new character Mm -hmm. with with timely too but i was so um, excited to see miss minutes oh i was looking for her We'll see. We'll see more of her. I think maybe find that body for her, huh? Mm-hmm. And then also see what that secret is. What's that secret? Ms. Yeah. Minutes. What do you got? What do you get? What do you get to tell us? Go, no after credit scene me. of this. No. But you got to keep out. For, keep an eye out for yeah, that. Ye- that always, may happen. Always. Um, well, we've come to the end of this episode, Sophia. What do you have to plug? Just the same old, same old things. Um, thank you so much for listening to our pod, listening to our voices. It's very much appreciated. Um, and if you want to support any other shows that are on the Delphin Pod Network, please check out the uh, Patreon that we got. Uh, Patreon.com slash Delphin Pod, D-E-L-F-I-N-P-O-D. A um, lot of cool stuff there from other shows. Um, but, and if you want to follow me on any socials, you sure can. Everything is going to be at underscore simply Sophie, S-O-F-I-E-E. Yeah, listen to all of our podcasts. Revenge of the Sequel is back, filled with Halloween sequels. Yoo-hoo. A lot of spooky stuff if you enjoy those. A spooky, spooky. Um, we've got a lot of backlog. Star Wars Pod, Dirt Sheet Radio, the wrestling podcast is out now. And you can always go to patreon.com slash Jeff and Pod. There's a lot of fun stuff there, too, with Brent and videos and, and all that good stuff. Hi, Brent. Thanks for listening. We'll be back next week for another mm-hmm. episode on Loki. Yeah. Hopefully... It's uh, another good one, huh? It's a banger. Yeah, it's a banger. Yeah. If we miss anything, let us know. Yeah, let us know. We'll go there's, back there's and re-edit it, and yep. we'll definitely do that. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Bye. bye.